Okay, the left side spring is fully out, including the pad setup that they use. I mean, if you look at this spring, I have it laid right on top of the old one. You can see it matches till you get over here. It has a tad bit more rock. I guess because the other one is 35 plus years old. Um, and I can show you exactly where it broke. That's the main leaf. And there's the piece of the main leaf still in it. So, I was mistaken when I counted before. This has four leaves. This has five. So, and it is a little bit thicker, so I gotta deal with that. I'm hoping with the extra leaf and the original lock that the car sits nice in the back. Because as you know, a lot of these cars from the 70s, they drove down the road, the bump was dragging. I mean, even my, uh, my Granada did that. And that was another low mile car. I mean, this car I got here, when I got this car, it had 27,000 miles on it, was sitting on the ground. Okay, I've just come back from the hardware store. Um, these are the original centering bolts that are in the springs. Grade 5. I went and got myself some grade 5 bolts. So we're going to make our own. So the ones that are in these springs are longer. And they don't come out. A lot longer. And here's the ones that came with it. Okay, and if I'm going to use that upper rubber, I got to deal with that. It took me an hour to go get those bolts because, of course, as I was pulling up to the gas station right across the street, the car ran out of gas. So, I think it's time to take a nice lunch break. A nice Subway sandwich on whole wheat bread. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, this is what I've come up with. It's a 5 16 grade 5 bolt with a 3 8 nut up here which slips right over the, the shank of the bolt tight with two very thin washers which is going to duplicate what I have here with the washer set up here. And when I take the measurement of the depth, because if it's too long it will hit the rear end tube. There's the depth there. And there's the depth there, we're good. Um, and on the bottom, it's just got this long nut looking thing with the same deal on there. I just went with three 5 16 nuts. Okay, the leaf springs came with new bushings in the front, which are pressed in. And the rear bushings, you just slide them in there, they're made out of some kind of rubber. This is what I use. It's made by Dow Corning, it's 111. It says it contains silicone, but this is what you would use on uh, leaf spring bushings. If you're using uh, urethane bushings, especially in the leaf springs, um, I use it on the other way again when I put the front end together. It looks like Vaseline, but a thousand times thicker. And it just stays there and it lubricates it. So um, that's what I'm going to use inside these bushings before I put it in there.